Robin Hood legend is being rolled out as I speak. If you are looking to create a layout and you want to see how this stuff works, this is the video for you. I want to pop off the screen so we can see the entirety of it and uh, we'll get right into it. So first things first, this is a brand like open it up. This is what you're going to see on the top left. You'll have the untitled layout that'll be showing up first. Then you'll have the option to look at a template. You'll have this market hours or portfolio performance option at the top right. You'll have this box to expand the screen full. You can click escape and you'll go right back to what you were just looking at. You have the option to add widgets and then you have your toggle between accounts, individual or a Roth IRA. If you have a Roth IRA with Robinhood and then you kind of have this up in the top right that gives you more information about your account, p &Ls, all that stuff. So this is Robinhood's uh, platform that is going to compete with other trading platforms out there in the market. And uh, it's been a long time coming, I think. But if you are looking to, or if you like Robinhood and, and you have a lot of money there or you want to move money there, this is a platform I think you can start trading on. And uh, let's kind of get started. So let's go with a, let's look at the templates. I'm going to build a custom one, but let's just go there first and, uh, and we'll see what happens. So if I click on the plus, we can go from a template. It'll say start from scratch or start from a template. So let's go, if I go to template, this is very similar to what you would see with a platform uh, like Weeble, where they give you some templates. And if you are someone who, you know, sees something that you like here, then go ahead and, and, and start there. I'm going to go from scratch so you can kind of see how I do it. But hey, if you want to have a bunch of charts on your screen, here's eight charts I can pull up right there. You know, pop this open. And now I have eight charts on my screen. <laughs> I mean, just like that, I can pop this over into a, a different on a different monitor if I wanted to. Uh, move my tab to a different monitor and boom, I got eight charts. I can watch all these charts up in the corner or on the side and and uh, monitor how these stocks are performing relative to each other. So pretty cool. But let's go back. Let's X out of this and let's start with a blank slate. Delete that. And uh, let's go over here to a new layout. Start from scratch. And oh, wait, sorry. I have the option to edit the untitled first one. Let me just do that. Let me just go into there and uh, and start there. So Let's add some widgets, top right. Now, if I have a layout or if I have different types of layouts, for example, I have more of a, a, a day trading layout or more of a market view layout, I can create those and I can have multiple layouts that I can toggle back and forth between uh, if I want to. So top right, add a widget. Here's where we have the option. There are six widgets, okay? Watch list, recent orders, options chain, chart positions, and account summary. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go watch list first. I, I like the idea of having a watch list up on the top right or on the left side. It's actually usually what I do. I either have it on the left or the right. And I, I have a watch list there. And um, you know from that point, I'm able to kind of get a good sense of what I'm looking for. So let's go with a new one. And uh, let's call this one um, tech, for example. And I can come in quickly here and I can add you know Apple, I can add NVIDIA, I can keep going, Microsoft. Let's just say that I want to add those three just so we have that there so you can see, okay? For the sake of the video. Up into the top right back to add widget, I want my chart in the middle. Now I could customize this. So if I want to move this around, if I just grab the top, I can start moving it and see all these dots, it's really cool. So it's kind of like a grid. So you can kind of see how things are sized and you just kind of fit things inside of the grid. Now, see, once I have this set, I'm going to move to the, the left all the way up against my watch list. So we have that there. I will adjust the size of this here in a second because I don't want it to be this. I want to have some stuff maybe in the bottom right, left or on the right hand side, just so we have a sense of it. But let's just get that on the screen. Boom. Let's go to, we have the chart, recent orders. I don't really care about that, to be honest with you. Option chain, if you trade options, very important. Um, let's jump over to positions. I want to make sure I have a sense of my positions. So I'll leave that on the right. So it's separate from my watch list. So I don't get those confused. And then I'm going to add my, I guess we can go option chain account summary is cool. I don't want to see my account to be honest with you when I'm trading. So I'm not going to put that up there, but if I go to the options chain, let's do that. So now I can have the options chain and, uh, be quickly able to see if I trade options or if I sell cover calls or whatever, I can go ahead and do that there. Um, reason why, if I go to the top right, I can kind of get a quick account summary right here. Days PL, year to date PL, all that stuff. So I don't need to see the, the the account summary, to be honest with you. It's just 
not necessary for me, at least in this point. So no current positions right now on this account. So you can kind of see how things work. Now, let me just go ahead and resize some stuff. So you have the option to customize some things. If I wanted to change up how this all looks and how this all works, if I go to the top right corner of my widgets, I can resize them and I can change this all around. So if, if this is too big, I can make it smaller. I can put it like right in the middle. If I want to have some blank space around there, it's up to you. It's totally up to you on how you want to do things. So just make sure you're aware of that. If you just grab on the corners and you'll see that little arrow pop up, hold your mouse down and then you can start to drag it. And then you'll see uh, on the back side or behind your widgets, you will see the grid, those dots popping up and just put your widgets, connect it to wherever dots you would like. It'll automatically get there once you're close enough. Connect it as, as big or as small as you would like to adjust the size uh, and you should be good to go on that front. Now, there is a little box popping up saying linked widgets update together. So let's just make sure we understand what this is. If you're familiar with other platforms, see this blue dot up here? I can have it set to unlinked blue or any different color. Now, when I hover over blue, you see in the top left of all my widgets, do you see that blue box kind of highlighted? That's telling me that when I have all the same colors, that when I change or select something on this chart, it's going to change it everywhere. So if I click on Microsoft, it's now going to change my chart. If I click on Microsoft, my watch list, it'll change my chart and it will change the option chain because they have the blue linked color. If I change this color to orange over here and I click on, let's say I go to NVIDIA, it'll change to NVIDIA on the chart because that's blue. And I clicked on that one from the, from the blue watch list linked group, but it will not change it over here. So make sure you're aware of that, especially if you want to make sure everything is synced up nicely. And so you're looking at the same stuff. When you pull up the in chart of NVIDIA, you want to see the option chain there. You want to see, you know, when you click on it from the watch list, you want to see that. So that's uh, in a nutshell, the basics to how this works. If I was to control click up on the untitled layout up in the top left, I can either duplicate it or I can edit the name. Let's call this one layout one just for the sake of this video. So now I have it called layout one and that's again, control click and I can get on that and it'll allow me to, or I guess I would say right click if you were not on a Mac and it will probably allow you to change that. Just mess around if it's not control click, um, try a couple different things and it should be able to change. So you can also change inside of this different settings, which I think that we'll save that for a different video. That is how you create a customized layout here on Robinhood Legend. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. This is a new platform right now. So I'm sure there'll be kinks to be worked out and I'm sure there's a lot of questions. I'll be happy to make videos on those because I wanna make sure if you're gonna use this, your issue is not on, oh, I screwed up because I didn't link my account or I didn't link my widgets or this or that. I wanna make sure if you're gonna use this, you don't lose money because of a situation that you know you should have known or you could have been made aware of. I hope that was helpful. I'll leave some links and resources below. If you are looking to get into tracking your trades, there is a free one hour training video that I will have linked up below. That's a great place to go, especially if you wanna start taking control of your trading data and leveling up on your own time. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.